the 80s. In 2009, Simply Red, one of the UK's most famous bands of the 80s, announced they were to split. They bowed out with a final show at the O2 Arena in London. It appears that break was only temporary. The group is preparing for a new tour to celebrate the 30th anniversary. But lead singer Mick Hucknall is the only original band member and he'll be joining us in just a moment. First, here's a reminder of some Simply Red's greatest hits. love about these moments is when we have the guests on and you look back on the years and Mick and it was all about your hair. Some of the hairdos, goodness me. <laughs> we should introduce everyone. It's uh, Mick of course in the middle and Kenji uh, nearest us and bass player Steve on the end. Morning, Morning. gentlemen. Morning. Just I mean as, as Naga was saying the hair thing should we get out of the way now because as, as you were watching those through you were saying oh look at it there oh it's big there. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was you can can you measure the sort of when it was? 1980 something or 1990 something, according to how long the hair was. I usually measure by the song. I can remember the song. That's, probably That's a, a better easier. measure, really. Fair enough. Probably fair a point. bit easier. <laughs> 30 years celebrating. Yeah. Um, you did think it was all over at the finale concert at the O2. What made you come back? Well, uh, my, about a year ago, my manager said to me, you realise in 2015 it'll be 30 years. And then there was this silence. I said, well, what are you going to do about it? I said, well, what do you want me to do about it? And he said, well, don't you think we should do some shows? And if you can't celebrate an anniversary, then what, what is there during your lives? You know, there are key times. And uh, I just figured that it, it seemed a reasonable thing to do. So how do you go about finding these gentlemen? Steve, for example, tell us the, the story of how this happened, Steve. My relationship with Mick goes back, what, 20 years? This is okay. 20 years we've been working together. 94, wasn't 94. it? 94. Yeah. So it was, it was like, if you like, an organic process. Was it? You did, there wasn't an audition as such. It was a, how, how did it work? I knew uh, Andy. Wasn't it? I, I knew Andy Wright. Andy Wright is still uh, producing, uh, working with me. So he, he, I first worked with Andy Wright on the song Fairground. And uh, so, yeah, Andy introduced us. And Kenji, the silent one, he's, <laughs> he's, been, uh, he's been with us since 1998. Yeah. Okay, in what capacity? Huh? Uh, in Guitarist. And when we go to Japan, translator. Right, <laughs> okay. So is, is it a strange thing? I'll ask you guys first. I mean, obviously, with Mick still being the front man, very much face of the band, is it, is it curious sort of walking into that situation? Because people know the band very well, Mick's still there. Mm. So it's familiar in a sense, but then you're all very different. Yeah, I, I prefer it, to be honest. I prefer that. Was it fresh? Because do you, did you bring something, like you've got the tunes that we all knew. I, I was a big fan when I was younger and dancing around. Do you bring something fresh to the old songs or do you think like we leave those as they are and the new stuff we can kind of introduce to the audience? I, I like to think we bring something fresh, yeah. yes. So, so we're yeah. going to hear some changes to the songs? Very slight. I mean, the, the, the bottom line is I love giving people what they want. And, and if you go out celebrating a 30th anniversary, that is the time to give them what they want. So they, you, you play, look, here's the hits, this is the way it is, this is what they, this is what they want. So we, I don't want to be too difficult with, uh, you know, you hear stories about artists turning their backs on the audience and giving them their art and this kind of thing. You know, when you get out on a stage, it's about entertaining and giving pe making people smile and 
making them go home and say, like, I really enjoyed. And I, what I love most is them singing along to the songs. I've always enjoyed that. If you're in an arena with like 11,000 people and they're all singing along with the song, it's just a great vibe in the room. I think we can see this is a performance from 2010, I think, now. Let's have a look now. So you're all playing in that line. That was uh, Sydney, wasn't it? Kenji, t tell us. Uh, um, Mick was talking about the 30-year anniversary. Mm -hmm. like, 30 years ago, do you remember? Did you like Simply Red then? Oh yes. Yeah, I was living. <laughs> He's not going to say otherwise, is he? But <laughs> you, you, you were a fan then, were you? Yes, yes. Yeah. Where and were you then? What were you doing? I was living in Japan, and I had my own radio program. And I, I remember I played the Simply Red uh, record on my. Uh, Radio program. Yeah, the fairground was number one in Japan, wasn't That's it? Right, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Who's coming to the um, concerts? Who do you think are going to come to the concerts next year? Because it's like you've, you'll obviously have your core base of fans from over the 30 years. Are you attracting new fans, young fans? Well, that was fans, another thing that, that, that my manager pointed out to me was, was that um, it, it's not sort of going away. We've, we've, uh, he calculated that we've had, um, when, you, when you add up all the songs, for example, on YouTube, we've had 250 million hits on YouTube with all the various songs we've had. We've got 1.2 million followers on Facebook. And that is not exactly sort of, uh, it, it's more of a younger medium as far as I understand it. And you, and you sort of think to yourself, well, you know, there's, there's people out there who have ne even five years ago weren't ready to see us. And uh, he also pointed out last night that there's a lot of young people hitting on it you know, uh, it, late teens, early 20s, which, I mean, great, I'm in. <laughs> very good to see you this morning. Good luck with the tour. Thank you, Thank you very much. And Simply Red uh, going on tour uh, next year, 2015. Jimmy Whirlwind White has reached...